Yo, what's going on? My name is Ryan. I'm a CPA. Welcome to my channel and my video. Thanks for joining me. If you're new here, I would love it if you could consider subscribing to my channel and obviously smash the like button because it's going to help with the YouTube algorithms and stuff. And of course, leave a comment down below if uh, you have something you want to say or something to ask, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about the crypto market and what's happening and how it's going to affect you uh, because whether you believe in crypto, whether you don't, it likely will have some kind of indirect effect on you because, you know, tons of brokerage firms are have invested money into crypto and into some of these exchanges that allow you to buy and sell cryptos. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to talk about that, the tax treatment, uh, what's going on, and maybe potentially what you should do with the current market that's going on. So what's happening now is, you know, since March of 2022, the crypto market has been declining pretty significantly and then it got to kind of a bottom in june of this year and then just recently early november there was another another dip uh, a more minor dip but still pretty significant and so what we have here is this a large crypto dip kind of like what's going on with the stock market the stock market has kind of declined quite a bit this year and so we're seeing people panic people sell off their, their investments and doing all these things that maybe they shouldn't be doing. Yeah, so with the, with the decline in the crypto market, how, how are these losses treated in terms of taxes? So the IRS stated they're gonna treat cryptocurrencies as if they were property. So you can buy it, hold it, and then sell it. If you sell it for more than you bought it for, then you made a capital gain. And if you sold it for less than you bought it for, then you made a capital loss. Uh, simply holding on the cryptocurrency does not in incur any taxable events. So right now, if you had a bunch of, uh, a bunch of coins and then you, the market tanked and you still have those same coins, there is no tax events there. So there's nothing to be done tax wise. If you have cryptos and you swapped it for another crypto, this is the same thing as selling it and then buying another one. So that would create a taxable event. So just keep in mind swaps or trades create a taxable event as if you sold the crypto. And if you incur capital losses, let's say you the market tanked and you sold a bunch of your cryptos, you know, because you didn't want to be in the market anymore. Uh, now you have this, let's say, significant capital loss. Can your capital loss be offset against any of your other income? Uh, well, the answer, the short answer is just a little bit, but not really. See, capital losses really can only be offset against capital gains. That's, that's gains that you, that you incur from selling stocks or maybe from selling a rental property. You know, those are capital gains, the sale of other properties or the sale of securities or commodities. That creates a capital gains if you, uh, if you made some money on it. A capital loss is when you lose money on it and capital losses can only offset capital gains. Now, if you don't have capital gains or if you don't have enough capital gains, uh, you can offset some of your other income, with your ordinary income. Uh, you can offset it with capital losses, but you can only do up to $3,000 per year. So, quick example. If you sold a bunch of cryptos and you had a $10,000 loss, you have no other capital gains to offset your loss, but you, let's say you have a regular W-2 job and that's the only other source of income. Well, that $10,000 loss, you can only use $3,000 of it to offset your W-2 income. So your other $7,000 of loss gets carried forward to the following year until you can use it all up. And if you don't have any capital gains the next year, you'll, you'll use another $3,000 against your ordinary income. And you keep doing that until you use up your loss. With that being said, with this crash, you know, what are the tax implications of this crash? Uh, as I mentioned before, if you had a bunch of crypto and the market crashed and you still have it, then there's no taxable events. You don't have to report anything. You didn't realize the loss. You just have crypto, the same crypto that's now worth less money. Um, if it crashed and you sold a bunch of it and you realize the loss, now, you know, just like before, you had to either offset it with capital gains or you can offset up to $3,000 of it against your ordinary, in ordinary income. And before we get to the next part, which is maybe what you should do, how about you subscribe to my channel? That'd be awesome. So now what should you do? Now that the market's tanks, stock market, crypto market, everything is kind of shitty right now, what should you do? Uh, first thing is I'm not gonna give you any investment advice on this channel because 
that's a huge liability for me and I'm not qualified to do that. I don't really know much about uh, investing except the very, very basics. So no investment advice here, no legal advice coming from me either, and also no tax advice. I'm just gonna pretty much tell you what you should be aware of. First thing to be aware of, you know, if you're trying to make a decision on if you should sell your cryptos that have lost money, um, maybe you should see, you know, look in your 2022 year, if you did anything that resulted in a capital gain. Did you sell a rental property? Because I know houses are, you know, the past few years have appreciated quite a bit. So if you sold some property, you might have some capital gains there. Uh, you, then you might want to maybe sell some cryptocurrencies at a loss to offset your capital gains. Another thing to look out for is if you have, you know, if you're holding some cryptos that are not looking so good, you know, maybe you're reading articles, you're doing research, and the future of this particular crypto is not looking so great, you might just want to get out of it. You know, cut your losses, uh, get out of it before your money completely evaporates. Do you have other forms of income that maybe, you know, maybe you don't have, you don't have capital gains, but maybe you want to offset a little bit of your other income by $3,000 of capital losses. That might be something to consider too. Just remember that if you are realizing your losses, if you're selling cryptos to realize your losses, that is worse than, uh, not realizing losses and paying a little higher taxes, you know, because when you realize losses, you're going to pay lower taxes, right? But realizing loss itself means you're losing money. You're losing money on this investment. So losing the money is actually worse off than taking a loss to just save money on taxes. So uh, my philosophy is this is what I would, this is what I do. I try to lose as little money as possible, even if losing money creates a taxable loss for me to be you know to save me a few bucks on taxes because losing the actual money means I lost money and that's worse the question sometimes I get questions from people not not nearly much at all but maybe okay to be honest one person asked me uh, what about the mark to market election for cryptos can you can you elect the mark to market that you can do with stocks can you use that for cryptocurrencies um, well, there, there's not, there's not really clear guidance on this, but I'm going to quickly address it because maybe some people are wondering about this. So if you don't know, um, the IRS allows you to classify yourself as a trader of securities or commodities by making a mark to market election, a section 475 F election. And what this does is it allows you to realize gains and losses on your securities and commodities without actually selling the securities and commodities. So at the end of the year, let's say the stock market is tanked, you still have all your stocks, but you didn't sell anything, but your stock market is, now your stocks are worth a lot less than they did at the beginning of the year. You can mark those stocks to market and realize um, and report a, a net loss without selling anything. That's what this election does. It classifies you as a trader of securities and commodities, so you can mark your stocks and investments to the market value. Can, can you make an election with cryptocurrencies? And the answer from me is, you know, I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not certain, but I'm gonna go with no, because cryptocurrencies don't fall under the categories, in my opinion, of securities or commodities. So securities are very tightly identified in the IRS tax code. The cryptocurrencies definitely don't fall under securities. Uh, so the next argument is that, well, maybe they could be a commodity. And even though commodities are more loosely defined in the tax code, I still don't think cryptocurrencies are a commodity. Really, what they are, they're currencies. They are virtual currencies. They're not a commodity. So I don't think this mark-to-market election is a viable option for cryptocurrencies. Okay? And that's all I got for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you liked the video. Please smash the like button if you liked it. And tell your friends, tell your family, whoever you might think may find it helpful to send them over here and definitely hit the subscribe button if you would please and i'll see you next time stay safe take care i hit the function hit the rose till i hiccup i hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker she picture perfect so i told him i'm a flip